Yay. Hello everyone, and today we will be reacting to some, uh, some scary TikToks. And if Dominic gets scared, he has to suck an egg. If he gets scared, he's gonna suck an egg. Alright. For some reason, I need to find one that isn't so Alright. So yeah, uh, we have Chase and all of us. In the following video, a group of friends are having a small gathering as they all collectively so when we sing get... to a song of worship. That sounds like a story. <laughs> the person recording pans around the room to capture this harmonious ceremony, thinking that this evening will end well. But little did they know that something would happen during this gathering that would haunt them forever. Be sure to pay close attention, as no one had noticed it until looking closely. Take a look. Zippy. Orange. Alright, let's try this one. This is why you should always change your locks. Oh, that's scary. She somehow kept her composure, turned the water to Not even gloves. and then ripped open the curtain and sprayed the intruder in the face. As they howled in pain, she ran past them to her kitchen to get her butcher's knife. In a panic, she can't find her knife, so she just runs out of the apartment and calls the police. The police go in and come out with a crazy looking woman in handcuffs. One of the officers comes over to the girl and says she used to live here and she had copies of your keys. Then he pauses and looks down and brings up a clear evidence bag that contained her butcher's knife. And he says, looks like she wanted her apartment back. There's something terrifying going on at Chuck E. Cheese right now, and I'm going to explain it to you. So we all know about the game Five Nights at Freddy's, right? Yes. It's a game based around a restaurant. It's pretty much like a Chuck E. Cheese where the animatronics come to life and wreak havoc on all the guests there. But what if I told you this was possibly happening in real life right now? Just two days ago, five children have gone missing inside of a Chuck E. Cheese, and the parents reported a weird smell from the inside of the building. Oh, me. And then just like Five Nights at Freddy's, someone that worked the late night shift actually got killed after hours. Now these yeah. are all pretty weird, but here's the kicker right here. Check you didn't get payment. Night shift workers from Chuck E. Cheese claim strange from animatronics post hours. So I don't know, what do you think about this? Do you think it's real? Do you think it's fake? And I mean, with 2020 and everything going on, like, I wouldn't be shocked if it was real. Blood curdling facts that you wish you never knew. Yeah. When creating the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disneyland, they couldn't create skeletons that looked realistic enough, so they used real human skeletons. What? Since then, they've removed all but one. Ducks sometimes become cannibals due to boredom, meaning they kill and eat each other. This behavior begins as early as four weeks old. Crocodiles are capable of galloping, similar to a horse. Luckily, yeah, I knew alligators that. cannot. And while we're at it, tarantulas can swim. <laughs> it's extremely common after you die that there will be extreme gas buildup and you will burp after death. And sometimes dead bodies can even sit up on their own. Also, if a pregnant woman dies, the gas buildup in her body can actually forcefully push a baby out. In other words, a post-mortem baby bazooka. Hearing is the last bodily function to go after one dies. Mm. So it's very possible that the last thing you ever hear is the paramedic calling off your CPR. Oh. Purely feisty. Real variety. That's terrifying. Bro, not even close. I know you'd pee your pants. This is why you should never I didn't stay even in do sketchy that. motels. In 2005, right. a young woman on a solo road trip across oh, the country decided to stop for the night. The first place she sees is the Mountaintop Motel. It looked pretty cheap, but she was tired, so she said good enough. The check-in guy eyed her up and down very uncomfortably and then asked her if mm -hmm. she was traveling alone. She ignores the question, pays for her room, and then walks away with the key. Mm -hmm. When she gets inside her room and sees there are literally cockroaches in her bed, she says nope and decides to sleep in her car in the parking lot. 
Around 3 a.m., she wakes up to see the check-in guy using his own keys to get into the motel room she was supposed to be in. A few minutes later, he storms out and slams the door and starts walking towards her car. Terrified, she hides under her blanket as the man tries to open her car doors but can't and walks away. She speeds off and calls her friend and asks her to look up the address of Mountaintop Motel so she can give it to police. Her friend's quiet for a second and then just says, The Mountaintop Motel closed a week ago. If someone offers you this, walk away. In 2016, a man was staying at his friend's cabin in the woods when he decided to go for an evening stroll. A little ways down the trail, he hears someone call out from behind his neighbor's house. He looks up and he sees this skinny guy pop out from behind the building and starts waving frantically at him to come over. Worried this guy could be in trouble, the man takes off running to assist. But when he gets close enough, the neighbor just offers him a fistful of Slim Jims and starts talking about how much he hates his wife. Sensing there was something wrong with this guy, he says no thank you to the Slim Jims and walks away. The next day, the man calls his friend who owned the cabin to ask him what the deal was with his weirdo neighbor. There was silence on the phone, and then his friend just says, I don't have any neighbors. The police are called, and it turns out his neighbor was really some lunatic who had recently killed his wife and had been hiding out in the abandoned cabin next door. This is why you always say yes to tandoori chicken. In 2012, a high school tutor and her students stayed up so late one night studying that by the time they were done, the buses had stopped running. Without another way home, the student asked if he could stay the night at her place. Reluctantly, she agreed. When they got back to the apartment, she fell asleep on her bed and he fell asleep on a blanket next to her bed on the ground. A few hours later, she wakes up to the boy standing awkwardly in the middle of the room with a very strange look on his face. She asks him, what's wrong? He looks at her and says, I'm really hungry. Let's go get some tandoori chicken. Confused, she says, it's 2 a.m. Just get a snack in the cupboard. And he grabs her by the arm and he says, no, we are getting tandoori chicken right now. And he yanks her from the bed. Feeling totally caught off guard by this whole situation, she goes into the hall with the boy. And as soon as the door shuts behind them, she can tell that he is terrified. He looks at her and just says, I'm not actually hungry. When I woke up, there was someone under your bed. This is why you should always trust your gut. In the early 1970s, a college student decided to hitchhike his way home after class. A car pulls up, a man offers him a ride, and he climbs in. As soon as the car started moving, the student felt totally uneasy, Mm. like something was wrong, but he couldn't quite place it. Without saying anything, he waited till the next time they slowed down, and he flung the door open and ran away. Two years later, he's flicking through TV channels when he comes across this special interview with a death row inmate, and it's just the audio recording, so he hears the interviewer ask the inmate, why did you remove all the door handles inside of your car? The man just goes, well, the first time I tried to kill someone, I picked up a college hitchhiker who got smart at some point and jumped out of my car. So, lesson learned, remove all the door handles. When they showed his picture, the student knew immediately that he was supposed to be the first victim of John Wayne Gacy, a.k.a. the killer clown, who had killed over 30 men and boys in his clown room and stuffed them into his basement. This is why you should always trust your gut. In the 1970s, a young couple decided to go for a late-night hike in the woods. A couple minutes into their walk, and the man remembers thinking, something's not right. He tells his girlfriend, but they just decide to ignore it and keep going, until he steps on something that felt really soft, like it was alive. Guys, this is not even scary. They hear all this rustling in the bushes next to them, and they fall. Years later, that couple turns on the TV, and a death row inmate who's about to be executed is being interviewed. Just put it on your neck. What are you scared? He responded, yeah. Yes. One I'm time, scared. I was in the woods, and a couple walked through, and the man actually stepped on the body of a girl I had just killed. I was hiding in the bushes just a few feet away. They didn't see me. That couple had run into one of the worst serial killers of all time, Ooh. Ted Bundy. So supposedly, this is what the fallen angel Lucifer looks like. So I've got this crazy overgrown mess behind me. The homeowner can't even see the back fence. pulling off the blanket. With the weed eaters? Sorry, it's my I didn't notice you. Why are you saying my people? And this is what the moon looked like on March 31st, 2020. Ooh. Oh. I don't know about any of you guys, but this is scary. Especially with everything Not going scary. on in the world right now. That's terrifying. Pretty cool. Let this be a reminder that there really are monsters out there. In 
2007, a woman living right near a prison in California got home late one night and went right to bed. Around midnight, she woke up to footsteps on her first floor, assumed it was her roommate, so she goes downstairs to say hi. She yells out to her roommate, who doesn't say anything, and then in walks this giant man who she doesn't recognize. She runs upstairs, jumps in her closet into the crawl space, and hides. As she's helplessly tucked away in this little crawl space, trying not to make any sound, all she hears is this giant man sprinting around her house, running into walls, flipping furniture, and screaming in frustration because he can't find her. Finally, after several hours, she slowly opens the crawl space back up, crawls out, and gets her phone off the nightstand and calls police. As she's telling the police her story, she describes the person who had broken in, and they stop her and say, Ma'am, go back in the crawl space and stay there. We'll be there as soon as we can. It turned out a 6'11 convicted murderer had escaped the prison and was still on the loose. Ooh. Oh, this one's fake. Yeah. Yeah, that's fake. If you scare easily, I wouldn't watch this video. In 2013, a mine explorer found this entrance anything. to an abandoned mine and decided to go have a look You're around. Right. He decides to film his experience and upload it to his YouTube channel where he had uploaded hundreds of other videos of him exploring mines, but he never once references the paranormal or ghosts or anything like that until this video. Ooh. As soon as he steps foot inside, he tells the camera that he has a really uneasy feeling about being there and wonders if he should even keep going, but he does. Everything seems pretty normal until he gets to a section in the mine where there's a bunch of chains hanging down from the ceiling. He hears something in the back of the tunnel, so he pulls his flashlight out and he shines it towards the back, and he sees a chain swinging, and it shouldn't be, because there's no draft and he's all alone, and you can tell he's scared by the way he starts talking. Although he's totally freaked out, he wants to know what's causing the chain to swing, so he goes farther and farther into the mine until he hears something. People whispering in every direction. He gets totally spooked and runs out. Okay, if you stop. Don't sleep tonight, watch the whole video. This is why you should never You mean in 2013, a woman let her dog out to use the bathroom one more time before bed. After only a few minutes, okay. she starts hearing scratching on her door, which is typically the sound her dog makes when he's ready to come in. But it just seemed way too soon for him to be done being outside. So she decides to look through the peephole to make sure it really is her dog. But what she sees in your, is terrifying. In your um, looking man name is right Y door, staring intently at instead her of a D. For it to turn open. As she's looking in horror, unable to do anything, he starts scratching at the door as hard as he can, never leaving his gaze from the door handle. She manages to stifle a scream. She backs away and realizes her dog is still outside. So she goes to the side window, but there's no sign of her dog until she goes back to the door to see if maybe the man's moved. He hasn't moved. His mouth is open, and he's staring directly at the peephole. Then he turns around and walks away. With the man gone, she discovers her dog unharmed. His leash had just been cut. But that means he had a knife. Terrifying facts about the ocean. Let's get into it. So we've explored. Yeah. Hmm. It's well, it's over. All right, let's watch one. Guys, that was not even day. scary, bro. Part two. They if always be doing fake the stuff. Platform and onto the tracks. Don't waste your time trying to crawl back up. There's a crawl space built for a person to go underneath in case this happens. If you ever, for some reason, ingest windshield wiper fluid or antifreeze, drink large amounts of vodka to keep it from shredding your kidneys to give you time to get to a hospital. If a tornado looks like it's not moving, it's actually moving toward you. If you accidentally disturb a beehive or wasp nest, do not run for the water. They'll wait for you to resurface and then resume stinging you. Just run as fast and as far away as you can because eventually they'll stop following. If a deer is running across the road, it's better to hit it than swerve and run into a ditch. But if there's a moose in the middle of the road, swerve and run into a ditch. Hitting a moose is like running into a brick wall. Yeah, plus they're Probably really good. I can hear the difference. A man from Queens once spent five months in jail completely unaware that his bail was just two dollars. Right. Since spiders molt, when you see what you might think is a dead see. spider, it could just be that the spider left behind its exoskeleton and is now Ooh. bigger than before. Dr. Seuss cheated on his wife while she had cancer, and then she proceeded to commit suicide. Almost everyone on Earth is Dr. walking around Seuss. with a bunch of poop inside of them. Scientists accidentally killed the world's oldest living animal, which was a clam that lived to be 507 years old. Wow. Statistically speaking, at least one person who comments on this video will not be alive tomorrow. The real reason you shouldn't eat raw cookie dough isn't because of getting sick from eating raw eggs. It's because you shouldn't eat raw flour. 
which contains fecal matter from all the birds flying over the field and pooping on the wheat. Okay. Aztec whistle is one of the scariest sounds you will ever hear. When odd skull-shaped grave items were found by Why are you so scared? Ago in an Aztec temple in Mexico, Maybe I am I am scared. And were cataloged and stored in warehouses. But years later, <laughs> experts discovered that they were actually creepy death whistles that the Aztecs used in ceremonies, sacrifices, and in battle to strike fear within their enemies. And when these whistles were finally blown, they made piercing noises resembling the sound of a human howling in pain. <laughs> Not scary. Well, that's terrifying. No, it isn't. Alright, alright, let's do this. I wasn't scared of any of it. Bro, yo, breast A few seconds later, she collided with a recycling truck in a fiery blaze that claimed her life. Wow. This photo shows a man named John Jones who was exploring Utah County's Nutty Putty Cave. While he was exploring, he became stuck and was trapped upside down for 12 hours until he died due to cardiac arrest. Oh. This is the last picture ever taken by Filipino politician Ronaldo Doxa, who accidentally captured the face of his assassin and moments later was shot and killed. This photo from a surveillance cam shows two-year-old James Bulger holding the hand of a ten-year-old boy at a shopping mall in England. The ten-year-old boy, along with one of his friends, abducted, tortured, and murdered James, making Aww. them the youngest killers in British history. Oh, that's great. Alright. Hurling facts that you wish you never knew. Part 17. There's an eight-year-old boy named Amarjeet Sada who became the world's youngest serial killer after murdering his six-year-old cousin, his baby sister, and a neighbor's newborn daughter. The CIA has a legitimate heart attack gun, and it was exposed to the public in the late 1970s. Project Sunshine was research conducted by the U.S. government in which after the atomic bombings on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, a network of agents was recruited to locate recently deceased children Bro. Both the U.S. and Russia use dolphins and whales to spy on various countries. The FBI sent an anonymous letter to Martin Luther King Jr. telling him to kill himself. It reads, King, there is only one thing left for you to do. You know what it is. Guys, I just released my first YouTube video. I'm sure you'll love it. Link in bio. This is first YouTube video? Those were not even scary, bro. Okay, we have two more videos to go when this video is done. And then do I gotta play games? Uh, no. I wouldn't watch till the end of this video. Okay. On the evening of June 23rd, 2012, a 16-year-old boy named Michael was reported missing after going for a late-night dive with some friends. Nearly an hour later, the Coast Guard was called to retrieve the boy, and at about 2 a.m., a diver was doing body recovery in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. After about 45 minutes of searching, the diver began to experience decompression sickness, so he began to ascend back up to the surface. As soon as he came back up, one of his crewmates yelled and said that their chief needed them back in 20 minutes, so they only had enough time for one last ascent. As the diver went deeper and deeper, he began feeling around for any signs of the missing boy, but unfortunately, he had zero luck. That is, until he stumbled upon an old, rusted bicycle that appeared to be covered in blood. This was a good sign that the boy was near, so he began to reach his hands out, feeling for the body when this happened. Fake. Blood-curdling facts that you wish you never knew. Part 16. Kangaroos are absolutely terrifying, and if you mess with one, it will likely lure you into the water and attempt to drown you. There's wow. an abandoned Disney park that you aren't allowed to go to, and it was shut down in 1999 because it was infested with free-roaming alligators, the animals were being abused, and an 11-year-old boy died from a flesh-eating bacteria found in the park's waters. Wow. In the movie The Wizard of Oz, the lion's costume was made out of a real skinned lion. Wow. This is the John mm -hmm. Lawson house. No one knows who lives there, but every single day, there are several female mannequins sitting on the front porch wearing a variety of clothing. Their positions and outfits change daily, and many believe this is meant to convey some sort of message. 
And in 1871, a train crash took place just 200 feet away from the home, killing 22 people. And these mannequins are always pointing toward the crash. Curdling facts that you wish you never knew. Part 15. When penguins can't find love, they waddle off to die alone. Former U.S. Oh, that's so sad. Is one of the most accurate depictions of American I'll love you. Do you like to lay yeah, on but the I'm not a girl. Because they produce heat and they like the way it feels against their body. Basically, deer treat corpses like their own personal sauna. When a barcode is scanned, it's actually scanning the white parts of the code. You may never know if you've gone insane. And, and you could be bleeding internally right now and not even know it until it's too late. Since 2012, the U.S. military has lost... Huh? Why is there six feet under the blanket? One, two, three, four. More soldiers to suicide than to combat or other accidents. When you begin to realize just how dangerous escalators are, it is shocking that they still exist. And if you get caught in one, your chances of survival are almost zero. When Tarsiers get too stressed out, they commit suicide by repeatedly banging their heads against a tree. Wow. Surgery predates anesthesia. That's strange. Okay. Facts that you wish you never I don't even know what anesthesia means. But in the 18th Guys, century, named Mary scary. Tolf to shove dead rabbits inside of her and later acted as if she gave birth to them. And the doctors actually believed her until one of them discovered corn inside one of the rabbit's stomachs. More people have tapeworms than have dogs, which I guess makes them the most popular pet. Oh yeah, and this is what it looks like up close. So you know how every few pistachios you eat, there's always one that tastes a little bit different? Well yeah, it's because there's a dead navel orange worm inside of it. An octopus's penis is actually one of its tentacles, so if you ever got to pet one at SeaWorld, you might have just groped the damn thing. Dying from starvation is because your body used all of its resources in order to feed your brain. And as a last resort, it begins to digest the muscle around your most vital organs until all that's left is your heart. So you die by eating your heart. This 17-year-old boy died after a 911 dispatcher says, deal with it yourself. In 2015, a teenage girl named Esperanza made a 911 call after her friend Jaden was shot in a drive-by shooting at a house park. Matthew Sanchez, the dispatcher who answered the call, quit his job after the following audio clip was released to the The public. baby can see your heart because they're right, like here and the heart is right here so can they see the heart? I'm not sure. This is the haunting true story of Jennifer Solution. Jennifer Pan was an Olympic mm. caliber figure skater and straight A student who won many scholarships and early acceptance to college. Her parents had high expectations and wanted Jennifer to do well in college so that she could become a successful pharmacist. Whoa, okay. But this all changed in 2010 when police received a horrifying <laughs> phone call. Jennifer made this disturbing call to police right after she witnessed three men break into her home and murder her mother and leave her father fatally injured. But the next day, when Jennifer was being interviewed by police, she admitted that she was the one to hire the killers. Jennifer then told the officers that her parents were putting so much pressure on her to succeed that the only way she could get freedom was by hiring three hitmen to kill them and make it look like a home invasion. That's terrifying. video was found on the dark web, part one. And before I start this series, I want to clarify what I mean by the dark web. Basically, it's the part of the internet that isn't accessible to the rest of us, where illegal and criminal activities take place. The following video was posted to YouTube anonymously in 2014. Wait, and is entitled Blank Soup. The video is believed to have originated from the dark That's web. Water. It shows a shirtless man crying, being forced to eat the organs of his wife and kids, while two masked figures stand over him. Oh my 
my god. This video shows a girl trapped in what's known on the dark web as a red room. This is basically a place where people pay money to watch others being tortured on a live stream, and she's currently fending off her attackers who win, and the show begins. Bro. Blood curdling facts that you wish you never knew. Why didn't they just cancel the dark web? Like, bam, doom, done. Like, why is it still existing? Why does it exist? Yeah, people are cruel. But some people actually have hearts. Part 13. Hundreds of thousands of bodies have either been lost or buried at sea, so every time you swim in the ocean, you're basically bathing in a graveyard. Chainsaws were originally invented for childbirth. Female mummies in ancient Egypt were always decomposed more than the male ones, and this is because the male bodies were embalmed a lot sooner while the female bodies were kept at the family home until they started to decompose a little bit. And this was to prevent people from having sex with the dead female bodies. Vlad the Impaler was called this because he would place his enemies ass first on pointed poles that would slowly skewer them to death. Fatal familial insomnia is a disease where a person literally cannot go to sleep no matter what they take or what they do. The symptoms get progressively worse until they die of exhaustion. And for the last one, you might want to look up who invented blow-up dolls. Extremely disturbing interviews with evil people, part one. Arthur Shawcross was an American serial killer that had about the dark web. Like, why did they re record him doing that? What? He's the organs of his mother, of his wife and child. And that's probably why I hate black and white. It's our story that's commonly used as an example of the flawed justice system in the U.S. He was first charged with a five-year sentence after committing robbery and arson, but was released only 22 months in after rescuing a guard from a prison riot. His crimes didn't stop there, though, because in 1972, he murdered a 12-year-old girl and a 10-year-old boy, but surprisingly was only given 14 years for his crimes. What? But he was released early yet again because an inexperienced prison staff said that Arthur was by no means dangerous. He murdered 12 people over two years, and in this interview, he describes killing his cleaning lady, Dorothy. She was found with her head removed. Did she? Is that correct? Hey! Get... Away. You mean see? A curdling facts that you wish you never knew. Part 12. When a person is electrocuted via electric chair, they feel absolutely everything. They're completely aware of their body being deep fried in real time. And one person who survived the first round of electrocution said it tasted like cold peanut butter. As you're watching this video, your internal organs are constantly moving around inside you. Your armpit is where most of your important nerves in your arms are, so if you stab it, it will leave your arm completely useless. Ted Bundy, the serial killer, used to work at a suicide hotline. Scafism was a form of ancient torture where someone's body was tied between two boats and they were covered in milk and honey and bugs and other animals would feast on their body for days. Cotard's delusion is a rare condition where people literally think they're dead and many of them ask to be taken to a cemetery to be with other dead people. Hey. 15 month old baby kept disappearing from her crib in the middle of the night until her mom decided to That's install one security year and three months. 15 month old Chloe had her own bed with safety guards. Every night her parents, Chris and Nina, would put their baby daughter to bed and close the door so they could get some sleep. Until one morning, Nina woke up early and went to the kitchen to make some breakfast. As she was making her coffee, she looked over and was shocked to find Chloe playing with her toys in the living room, surrounded by the family's two golden retrievers. Chris and Nina immediately checked her bed and couldn't understand how she got out of the room because she wasn't tall enough to reach the doorknob. The parents thought this was a one-time thing, but it happened time and time again, so one day they decided to install a baby cam in Chloe's bedroom. And the next morning, after Chloe had escaped again, they went to the baby camp to see what had happened, and they were absolutely shocked by the footage. Like for part two. Bro.
I just want to see what happens this now. This 15-month-old baby kept disappearing from her crib in the Ooh. middle of the night until her mom decided we to got a part two. Camera. Part two. Chloe's parents, Chris and Nina, watched the recording in absolute fascination. Around 6 a.m., Chloe's door burst open and two golden retrievers came in to wake her up. It was the family oh. dogs, Colby and Blue, and they didn't feel like waiting, so they burst into Chloe's room early to play with her. They woke Chloe up by licking her face repeatedly until she got out of bed and walked into the hallway to follow the dogs into the family room to go play. Finally, Chris and Nina had an explanation for Chloe's escapes, but given that it was the family's dogs, they weren't too worried about it. Mom's awake. This is the story of the haunting exorcisms of Annalise Michelle. In 1968, when she was right, just 17 years old, a German girl named That's going to make it that's going to make it for the video now. Okay? Let's do this.